this record. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. So it has come to our attention. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We should ask Candace. Um, that you received chemical burns on your penis today, Jay. And and this was at work, yes? I hope. Yeah, it was at work. <laughs> okay. I okay. hope. So, so well, it could have been recreational. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but you hoped. That was just... I, well, yes, because I don't want to... Think I did that not have sexual relations with that car. <laughs> 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 uh, so what do you do for a living, and how the fuck do you get chemical I work on cars. burns on your penis? I work on cars more specific. Well, today I was... I work on cars, and I do vehicle inspections for the state of Texas. I'm speaking right into the fucking mic. No. Okay, go. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> anyway, um, so now you're talking to the mic. Yeah, I, I do vehicle inspections and I work on cars. I I'm a so, grease monkey. Okay, so how <clears throat> in the course of working on a car, which I will say that I have not done any of, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to figure out how one gets chemical burns on their junk. It's really not that interesting. This is going to be super anticlimactic. Well, I was doing a vehicle that's inspection. That's what she said. <laughs> 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 that's, that's that's really that actually kind of that's below the belt. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I was going to fill up some brake fluid, like a brake fluid reservoir, on a customer's vehicle, and I Is grabbed that a euphemism for something. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show me where my brake fluid reservoir is? <laughs> I just I, I grabbed the bottle, the gallon bottle of brake fluid by the cap instead of the handle, and whoever the fuck used it last barely put it on there. You know how you like go to grab like the pickle drawer and you pick it yeah. up by the and it slips off? Yeah. Well the fucking bottle slipped off and sloshed brake fluid from my waist to my knees. I was drenched in brake fluid. That sucks. That shit soaks through your clothes and it's wow. not super, super <laughs> caustic, but if it's on sensitive skin, that fucking shit burns. <laughs> so I ran into the office and I stripped down. My boss is in there, and I'm like, "Fuck it, these underwear are coming off. I'm give shit." So I threw my well, fucking. We know that that's not a problem. <laughs> so I'm standing there, and he's sitting at the desk, like staring at me, going, "Dude, what the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> that would be my reaction. Yeah. And I was like, "Shit, I don't have any other clothes. I've got to put something back on. There's customers out there." <laughs> So I sent him to get a can of uh, brake cleaner, and I drenched my pants in brake cleaner to remove the caustic shit. And then I dried them, and I put them back on, and I ran around for the next hour while I completed the job with no underwear on, and <laughs> <laughs> my pants were soaked in brake cleaner, which isn't a whole lot better than brake fluid. I was going to say, doesn't sound like it would be all that <laughs> it gentle just, on the skin. It, it evaporates, whereas the... The brake cleaner, the brake fluid doesn't. Wow, this this is a, a Darwin Award. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I think the funniest part was uh, one of our friends had pulled up after I completed the job and closed my books for the day, and he parked behind. Me. I was like, "Dude, you got to move your fucking car. I need to leave." He goes, "What's the matter?" I said, "I burned my dick. I gotta go." <laughs> <laughs> and he just looked at me like, what? I'm like, I don't have time for your shit. Move your car. Yeah, we're, at, we're at 40 to 50 percent. <laughs> wow. That, that this one is, is not the first time it's happened. That is That reference has not made it not surfaced in a <clears throat> long time. Actually, it's only been like a show. I think we had it last show. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I just, I'd I probably say that It counts when you reference it yourself. <laughs> yeah. It only counts when what? It doesn't count when you reference it yourself. Oh. Well, okay. That's fair. But yeah, um, a lot of Courtney fans in the uh, yeah, chat room. Of, yeah, okay. I like can't see Courtney. the chat room. So. <laughs> right? we're, we're getting all kinds of love in the chat room. You got love. You got pity love. And you uh, and you streamer four one six nine nine one love, which is lame. the best kind of love. I mean, that's the kind of love that will leave uh, anonymous love. On your penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a it's like a Craigslist. What do they call those? Oh, casual casual, casual encounters? encounters. Yeah, yeah. it's a uh, it's yeah. You're getting. Casual atheist airwave encounter. So love give us your cool. give us your best uh, uh, Craigslist casual encounter story, Jay. Have I never told you the best one? Oh, I just guessed that there would be one. Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a good one, dude. 
I no, never told you this story. No. <laughs> this is got. I, I hope Best of Craigslist picks it up because it's was, fucking. That was, <laughs> that was that was good. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. You guys talk about something else for a second. <laughs> I was looking at. Um, he bookmarked it. Right. No, I've I've he's I think, got, I think I've got pictures? an email. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's a picture involved. Well, there is a picture involved, but I don't think Craigslist saves it. Oh, okay. I know it's not in the email because I it's just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I it's believe- when I was at, it's when I was at Mardi Gras. Oh okay, okay. okay. Me, that wasn't too long ago. This no, is no, like no. Very this recent. Was, this was this last this February. This year, yeah. Um, God, when you were out being a hobo. Being a hobo. You took the train out there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that's true. Um, talk about something else. It's gonna okay. take me a second. Hmm. I, there are other things I want to talk about, but uh, oh, you know what I should do is I should actually try on Skype because if you uh, how many people are still in the chat room, I can't tell. Um, can you tell us something? I don't know, like six, seven, right, ten, okay. twenty. <laughs> I made chat sure room roll I'm call. not in. I'm not in the UStream thing. Okay. I'm on a. I'm on live so chat. What I think I'm going to do after so I want to talk about Jay's uh, kinky experience on. Uh, uh, Craigslist. Oh, but I've done like four times. After that, I want to talk about. Um, uh, I Googled before the show difficult questions that atheists can't answer. So if anyone in the chat room would like to uh, take one of these questions completely off the cuff on the air in the post show, get ready to Skype us. Don't do it yet, but get ready. Um, can't believe I can't find this. I can't either. It's going to be really disappointing if I... Oh, don't. I'll find it. I found it just the other day because I was telling a friend about it. All right. Um, <laughs> so maybe I'll start with you guys. Because the other thing I wanted to talk to Jay about was the source of morality. Does anyone else have a firm idea of what the foundation of their morality is? Ish. Ish. Well-being of others. How do you define that? What well-being? Yeah. Um. Are they well? <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's dead, Jim. Um. <laughs> like they're fed. Yeah. I don't know nature and nurture. You know. <clears throat> oh hey, you know what? Uh, Atheist airwaves. Our Skype thing got. Uh, friended by Doll Chick sixty two, which I assume is like uh, like a sex worker kind of person. And, like I haven't responded to her. Um, so July twenty third, she texted us, "Hey." <laughs> <laughs> that was at seven fifty four a.m. Uh, July 29th, she texted us, hey, uh, that was at 9.36 p.m. So this this person is up all night. Uh, today <laughs> at 9.22 p.m., when was that? No, oh, that was just right now. She just texted us, hey. So you're supposed worry. to say, so hey, girl. So hey, okay. All right, let's see. Is this person actually? With a snap. Hey, should I spell it G-U-R-L? Yes. Okay. Yes, of course. This is kind of like the, the Beads for Deeds thing. The what? That's a Craigslist ad. Hey, girl. Okay, I sent it. Let's see, let's see what she says. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's immoral to mess with people like this? No, I do it. Every time I get a random well, I, text message, it's I, the best. You were like the last person I would ask a morality question of. Leslie. <laughs> I wish I still had that text that I sent. No, no, absolutely not. Uh, oh my god, I can't oh, believe I can't. Oh wait, Dolchick sixty two says, "Hey to you too." <laughs> Only she misspelled two. T O, hey to you too. Well, okay, what do I say to her? I don't know. Um, uh, Come on, you you, you <laughs> give it with the hey girl. Go, okay, hold on. Okay, so what's going on? Are, are we <laughs> talking to somebody? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she said, "Hey," I said, "Hey girl," and then oh, I forgot to snap. Damn. Um, and then she said, "How you doing?" Okay. <laughs> How you doing? What you drinking? What you drinking? <laughs> we'll do that next. Hold on. How you doing? What's your, first? What are you wearing? What Wendy you Williams. Wearing? <laughs> Fuck! I can't find the text. Only the replies. 
Someone Dude, you're killing me here. Wearing. Oh wait, here she comes. Wait, she's gonna she's gonna reply. How you doing? Yeah, like, you're talking to a bot, aren't you? No, it doesn't seem like it. She's uh, it's like the dumbest bot ever. I mean, like <laughs> if you could create a bot, I mean, at least put spell check in that shit. <clears throat> hey, thanks for adding me. <clears throat> Found your info in the Skype search directory. Twenty four female, you? All right, who do we, who do we want to be? All of us. We just want to average it. So okay, do we want to? Do we want to be like? She's twenty four. She's twenty four and female. We're twenty three. Twenty three. We're twenty three. Twenty three. Male. Yeah. Yeah. Let's oh. go with male. Okay. Um. Okay. Twenty three male. Where you at, girl? Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, you could you could totally you could totally use my my funny OK Cupid profile thing. You can pull shit off there, and that'd be a good one to, to fuck with. Like there's there's some, there's some good shit you can probably <laughs> pull from that. All right, so twenty three male. Where are you at, girl? Oh man, it, it auto text. it auto corrected my girl to G I R L. That's not good. Oh, that sucks. That's that's lame, Skype. Okay. Could, could you find this thing, Jay? I'm fucking looking for it actively. <laughs> Hurry up, Jay. Gosh. I, I'm trying. To, I'm. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be done having cyber sex with this girl, and you're still gonna be looking. Okay. Well, I'm home for the summer from college. Bored. Are you Tr- serious? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get into some trouble. <gasps> Lol. Are you into college girls or cougars? <laughs> so what do we say to that? Are you offering your you and your mom at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't fucking believe I can't find the text on this. I found it just uh, the other okay, day. Uh, I, <clears throat> I can't be into both. Should I should I give her a winky? I mean, like yeah, give her a winky. <laughs> give her a winky. Give her Mister Winky. A little a little winky face. <laughs> I I can't be into both. All right, cool. This is awesome. I can't wait till she tries to get us get money from us. I may pay her. <laughs> I don't know. I'm totally into this now. <laughs> I, I wish we could share this screen Fuck. somehow. Um, I I swear to God, it's like two weeks ago. All right. <laughs> the chat room says she sounds hideous. I don't know. What's... She sounds hideous. Oh my God, <laughs> Courtney, are you atheist? What are you wearing? <laughs> uh, who the fuck is this person? I don't know. It's Jake from State Farm, apparently. <laughs> no, that's a different guy. Oh. Or, or unless <sighs> unless that guy is saying the other guy is Jake from State Farm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this is really irritating me that I can't find this text. This is really irritating me too. Man, Dolce, oh, we lost her. What do I what do I say to get her back? You ser- you what? can't even keep a spam person on. I, <laughs> I, can, I can't even get laid by a spam bot who's trying to get money from me. God damn. So what do I say to get her back? Um uh, sorry, no. what did I do wrong? <laughs> Where you at, Ma? Oh, there <laughs> you go. You, no. uh, let's see what let's see what she says. <laughs> oh, oh, found oh, it. I found gotta it. I gotta say, like I just noticed like the timestamp. It seems like forever, and she responded. It's been like less than a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So here's the story. Okay. I was in. Uh, I was in. I forget the name of the town in Mississippi. Of course, it's fucking Mississippi, right? Okay. Because <clears throat> we were staying the ho- at the hotel there, because that's where my buddies had their hotel. I met a bunch of my friends from St. Louis. They met me at Mardi Gras, and we were running around Mardi Gras together. Well, we wind up in their hotel, and it's near Gulfport. So we're all fucked up and we have copious amounts of beads from Mardi Gras and we, they have them like hung all over the fucking hotel room. So we're like, Hey, we should have fun with Craigslist cause it's stupid. So we create an ad and we put it in the casual encounter section of Craigslist and it says, I've got a, I've got $50 and a pile of Mardi Gras beads. The, <laughs> this 50 bones go to the, goes to the first trick nasty bitch that can get these beads up her bum hole. Reply, <laughs> reply for location and specific details. Complimentary walk on the beach afterward. <laughs> and there's a picture of a gigantic mass of beads on the wall. 
And I got all these fucking replies. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was very good. I got some really creepy shit, though. I got pictures and all sorts of stuff. But did you have anyone over? I, see, we had this oh, discussion, man. and I was like, guys, I can't do this. I cannot. I can't. And they're like, why not? We'll shove beads in some chick's ass. <laughs> We're like, we'll do it until we can't fit anymore. Dad. I'm like, it's Y'all are some <laughs> fucked up individuals. Now I know why I'm so fucked up. We found the source <laughs> of his morality. <laughs> <laughs> but his filter kicked in. It's there. That, there is one. That's interesting to know. It's broken. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> I'm interested. Do you have a face picture? That was one of the replies. I just, I just, I just asked. I'll check that. Um, you asked her for a picture? Yeah. So Seriously? She, yeah, yeah. She just she replied. Creepy she just, fuck. We, we got to the cell. So now we know what she's selling. She says, um, you know, she asked, you know, oh, I don't even, oh, I don't even know if I've – I've been talking to her while you guys are talking. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So she says, um, you know, I asked her if I couldn't be into both cougars and college girls. Uh, and she said, of course, LOL. Which is weird. I'm recently single and I really like chill, drama free guys who I can cam with. Do you have a cam meetup profile? I prefer that over Skype or Google Hangouts because it's kind of cost me money. <laughs> and so I responded back to her I've never heard of that. That sounds hot. H A W T. You're so fucking white and like 50 years old in right. your brain. Yeah. It's really, she says, it's relatively new. My profile is. HTTP colon slash slash R U R seven R W I three zero J dot social discreet dot com. So you guys go go check that out. Just accept an invite or hit connect and it'll link us. You gotta be talking to Go enjoy your PC S T D. Your what? <laughs> post coitus PC S T D. Post is that post coitus dress PC S T D. Oh P C S T D. Ah I'm thinking like PTSD here. I'm like post coitus stress disorder. Then she, <laughs> then she adds, Oh, I think you might have to fill out some stuff. Everyone gets verified as being real on here. Keeps anyone under eighteen out, L O L. So then I said, You gotta pick girl <laughs> And she said, K, yeah, I had to do the CC part two. That how I got my profile verified as real. Did you get in? Can you feel it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's good. I kind of like a response. I, I want to get the cam because, like, I swear to God, this is the conversation I'm having with this person. I believe it. What is going on in the chat room? Are beads in the bum inherently immoral? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is for you streamer blah blah blah? 92 well, 60 12, 61 12. No clue. Oh wait, she's gonna respond. <coughs> Can you feel it? Let me know once you're in. It should auto connect us. You're talking to a bot, dude. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I don't think it's a bot, dude. It, it, it's not bot. Okay, this is getting boring to me. Were you gonna okay. ask me a question? I already I already asked them. Okay, so how what is the source of your your morality? How do you tell the difference between something that's moral and immoral, Jay? What's moral? What, what's what's morality? <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah, uh, I know. I, um, I'm waiting. I, I'm gonna laugh about it later. Uh, <clears throat> how do I know what's wrong or what's mm -hmm. not wrong? You, are are you implying that there's nothing that is right? No. <clears throat> okay. Would I want it done to me? If I were in that situation. Would I want it done to me? So whatever action you're going to take, if you think about how you would feel if that action was taken toward you, that's basically where the morality Oh, really? <laughs> no, that was kind of my response, too. <laughs> Why? I mean, it's, I mean that's, that's the best I can come up with. I mean, I don't fucking know. <clears throat> I mean, if I, if I walk by someone and they're passed out on a park bench and they've got their wallet laying next to them, do I take it? Well, how would I feel if I was passed out and my wallet was on a park bench and somebody took it from me? I'd be pretty fucking pissed because that's not – it's a bad thing. It's bad. Don't do it. You're, ste you're stealing. But if you're stupid enough <clears throat> to fall asleep on a park bench with your wallet – doesn't mean you should. Out, if you're stupid <laughs> enough to do it, don't you think you deserve to have your wallet taken? I mean, isn't this, a, isn't this like the, the, the you know? Now there is a school of thought like that. That isn't uh, that the J school of thought, though. 
That's why I'm asking. It has been in the past, but I'm not so certain that that's the same school of thought that I currently exist by. Okay. So you, you have evolved? Somewhat. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so how about when you're asking for help? If you are asking for help. I'm asking for help. Like, like let's say something has happened to you and you are asking for help. Uh-huh. What would you want to have done to you? What was your what? Moral, what was your moral position again? What was my moral like the the source of morality? Yeah, your Basically, source of morality. What? Yeah, it's what what what, we, what you said was you know how would I feel if that action were taken toward me? Right. So if some if if I'm asking for help. So let's say you're asking for help. Uh huh. How would you want to be treated? With kindness i guess i don't know with someone to fucking help me if i need help right so what if that other person didn't treat you that way then that sucks for me hopefully someone else will i just i don't see how you can't get the connection between those two things the connection you're gonna have to fucking explain this to me okay. like i'm stupider <laughs> than i already am <laughs> okay because i don't wow. Because I'm not understanding what you're okay, fucking implying. Okay, so... Because you're implying something, but you're not saying it. Okay. <clears throat> Your moral position is that you want people to treat you the way that you... That I would like to be treated, yes. Right. So, but that should apply to every situation, including situations in which you are not necessarily in the best position and in which you might be needing help. Sure. Right. So if someone is in a bad position mm -hmm. and needing help, you should help them because that's how you would want to be treated, right? Sure. So let's say that there are people fleeing very, 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 very bad <laughs> see, situations. You're not, see, you're not, you're not, <laughs> you're, you're implying things and not asking them. I'm trying to get you to no, actually say what's on your mind here. I, but that's not the point because it shouldn't matter what the specific situation is. I'm it should still – your morality should apply no matter what but the it, specific situation it is. Would, sure. it would, that's which, how morality works. Which – that's fine. And I, I agree with what you're saying and somebody is helping them. Right. And now, I again, I came out and with a very rash – Stupid fucking argument against <laughs> well, no, against and, it. And we don't even and, have to go with that specific and, one. And it I still would apply no matter what the situation is. Sure. So morally speaking, I'm glad someone's helping them. Cool. But I'm not going to go fucking do it. Okay. And, and, and why? Why is that? Because I, mean, I have other shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> how do you – you, well, if that were the case, then I've got – I, I need to no, be, no, I need to be I, fucking Santa Claus you know, all over the goddamn yeah, world helping some that's motherfuckers. That's fair. That's fair. That you know you, no one can do everything. But right. then you're you were just more adamant about that. Like I'm not gonna fucking do it. So I'm just wondering. I got more shit to handle here. But but let's say they made it up here. Let's let's say made, they were. They made it up here? Let, let's say the border was a little bit closer. Uh huh. Let's say it was like in your backyard. Then I wouldn't have the beach in my backyard, and I wouldn't live there. Okay. <laughs> I was just wondering. I was just wondering what the proximity. I'm, I'm, I was just, I'm just wondering how to close you here. have to be to a situation before it becomes a problem for you. Re Rebel eighteen fifty two in the chat room. I'm going to interrupt for a second, and then you can reply. Uh -huh. uh, says that he believes that morality is rooted in hedonism. Can you tell me if you are honestly saying that, or if you are just fucking around? I would appreciate it. Go, Jay. Can we not get a response from him live? No. Okay. I forgot what the fuck I was saying. Um. Sorry. God damn it. You, well, how, how dare you interrupt my fucking train of thought? Sorry. sorry. Um, you fucker. <laughs> sorry. Uh, what, what was the? What was I talking about? You were talking the beach. about had something to do with the living beach. by the beach Can, and children I was just wondering. I was wondering if proximity is is part of huh. your morality. Uh, mm, no, I don't think so. I mean, no. if, if I were living – in a border town, and there were all this. If it directly impacted me and my daily, I mean, daily it does <clears throat> directly impact you. If it directly impacted me in my daily life, going the shit I do from day to day, it does. How? It really does. How? You're going to see the effects. You really are. Okay, that's entirely possible. You just, I don't. No, I no, I agree. We we are probably. I agree. We are going to see the effects in okay. one way or another. Okay. Okay. Continue. You agreed with me, so I'm good. 
can, can, can we can we send someone share a mic with Reb? Reb, will you will you come? Why are talk we still about fucking talking I wanna, about I wanna, I wanna this hear. goddamn situation? <laughs> it's no, not, not the situation. It was just it was an example. I want to move on. Uh, someone share a mic with Reb real quick, and because I want to, he says that he believes that morality is rooted in hedonism, which is <laughs> sounds fucked up to me. I'm not gonna lie. So, well, why do we do anything? Because it makes us happy, right? Makes you feel good. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. So you look at someone who is in trouble, hurt, in need of help, and you think to yourself, oh, "I must suck to be them." Uh, but you know what? It'd probably make me feel good on the inside if I did something charitable. So I, know. I help the person, I, or I don't. That's a good point. And if it doesn't I, make me happy enough, which in Jay's case, it doesn't make him happy enough to go and actually help people out, so he doesn't do it because he's not happy about now, it. That, it, or it doesn't make him happy enough. Now, if you want to say that <laughs> Jay's, like that. if Jay's morale, if you want to claim that Jay's morality is rooted in hedonism, I might be able to go. No, I think everybody. But, I don't. I, I don't think I anybody I does totally, anything <laughs> good or charitable for anyone else if it doesn't make them feel good I, on the inside I, in some way. I totally disagree. I with totally disagree with that. Then I, please. I, then, then please explain how, because I actually, having heard it, I completely and totally fucking agree with Reb. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, well, do you ever do any charitable yes. action that doesn't make yes. you feel good? Yes. Well, yes. Like, like what? Like what? So I have done many things that actually piss me the fuck off. Such as, give me an example. The only examples that I'm coming up with right now are like things that I can't really talk about uh publicly so we're, we're on post show let me uh, yes but these are people who listen to the uh, just show uh, and, substitute yeah. another name so just, let me just say there are there are situations i find myself in where someone needs help and it pisses me off because they put themselves in that oh, situation. Well, i mean yeah, you can be aggravated at the person but I'm, you see that they did something wrong on the inside you said they need help i'm here to do it it would make me it feel good on the inside knowing that I've angry. done something good for somebody. No. So what's your motivation for helping this person in this situation? Because if I was <laughs> if I needed help, I would hope that someone would help me. Even even if the, and the, does that thought make you happy that someone might help you sound the line somewhere? N- no. No. Ding fucking ding ding. ding. No. This is a this no no. Let me go back. Let me go back to something that Jay said to me. Probably back in February, which is if it's not in my fucking spreadsheets, I don't care about it. I am very logic driven, very unemotional. I do not understand most people's emotions. I get annoyed by people's emotions. I don't feel those things. I really do. Well, I mean, obviously I have emotions, but I don't feel, I don't feel like I feel emotions like other people do. I'm very, very annoyed by that. Well, it's, it's not but, so much the emotion of happiness. It's that I know I will profit no, from this in some no, way. No, and, and not profit me, in money, but profit in that goodwill really, that be, I might get from other people. Okay, be, because he doesn't believe in karma. Right. Well, and, no, not the same karma, and, but social karma. And here's, no, no. I no, don't, I don't really other people see you do so good me, things, so they're more willing to do and me, help you in the future as well. Let me even on the mic. You're not even a mic. What are you going to do? I, I want to hear I want to hear Leslie's – she she agrees with you on this, and you're doing a really shitty job of explaining it. So will you well, please I explain mean, it? I don't really – because I don't even believe that because not, not even the social karma because so because there are so many times that we mm. move between communities and stuff anyway. It well, I mean really follow it, us it takes anyway. time to, to – I'm not, I'm not I talking karma in the I would say that mine is because I've actually sense. been in situations where I haven't gotten help. Yes. So oh, yeah, why. yeah. I'm not saying social karma so, pays off all the time, but it, it, I, I know I'm more willing to help somebody if I know that, hey, in the past, they've been helpful to other people. Whereas if someone's been just shitty to people all the time, I'm be like, well, fuck that guy. It's unfortunate that I still help those fucking yes. people, too. Yeah, but by helping those people doesn't make me happy. So no, why? it doesn't, and I still so, do it. So yeah. why do you help them? What is your motivation behind helping them if they're shitty people? Be- it's part of my morality. Well, yes. Well, and- and where does that come from? What, where's your morale? <clears throat> where's your morality derived from? It's still human about well-being. the h- human well-being. And, and does it make you happy Explain to know that. that humans are having Explain a better well-being? Explain no. that well-being. No. Human well-being. Explain that. What do you mean? Well, no, no. Human well-being no. just it's just still, they're healthy just, and happy it, and thriving. It's still yeah. it's a healthy society. Yeah. Right. And does it make you happy here. that health that society is healthy? No. I it live, doesn't make I, you happy that health. I live that here. Society? My yeah. family. And, and and a better society that you're surrounded by would be better for you and make you happy, correct? If that's what the way it, it worked, but I don't believe that that's the way it worked. I learned very very early that help you it, helping people is not a machine where you insert kindness coins and you get out help. 
It doesn't. No, work no, that yeah, way. it's 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 obviously um, not a perfect system, but it's still it's not even it, it, it contributes to your happiness in some way. No, so two things. One, I will. I so let me let me concede a point that there are things that I do, uh, volunteer work, things like that, because. Uh, I headphones on. I can't tell what's going on. <laughs> uh, there are things that I do because it makes me feel good. I totally agree with that. But there are things that don't make me feel good that I do anyway because coldly, dispassionately, logically, I feel it is the correct course of action. And it's not about it making me feel good to do something that is correct. It's I do correct things because that is my morality. And following okay. your morality makes you feel better, right? No. No. Uh, Okay, so your morality. This is going to be really annoying. <laughs> okay, so your your code of morality. First off, where what does it derive from? That's your whole fucking question. What does it derive from? Human. I, I agree with Leslie. My morality derives from human well being and maximizing human. Dude, that's so annoying. Well, get another fucking mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So maximizing human well being is the source of my morality. It's Mute what this I do. Line. Uh, yeah, that's a better solution. Yeah, there you go. Good idea. All right. It's worth doing. Yeah. So maximizing human well-being is the source of my morality, and I think that is the cold, logical, dispassionate – like I said, if it's not in my fucking spreadsheet, I don't care about it. I do not operate from – I do not operate as a pleasure machine. I do not a operate as a uh, – Bullshit. A, you don't. You you absolutely do. No. You do operate but as a pleasure machine on a chemical basis. You do. The only thing you're I'm able to derive I'm... happiness from are, are are the chemicals that, sure. that that create happiness. And you do things in life. I do things that I do not derive pleasure from because they are moral. Okay. So your your morality you're saying is based on the well being of the humanity around yes. you. And I I gotta say like Sam Harris's book The Moral Landscape I. Uh, uh, I highly recommend that you read it because he makes the case, and I think correctly, that there are correct and incorrect answers to questions of morality. Those don't have to do with what makes you feel good. You can you can look at a problem and look at evidence and use reason to determine what is a correct action. It has nothing to do with whether it makes you feel good. It has to do with what is the source of your morality? If your source of your morality is maximizing human well-being, you can analyze that and say what course of action in this situation maximizes human well-being. All right. Well, okay. I get what you're saying. But the I'm not talking about just straight like I do this now and I feel immediate pleasure from this immediate action. I'm talking about future payoff. You say, sure. oh, I know that maxim doing this maximizes the well-being of society around me or in the world. And I know this does because I know rationally doing these things, like he said, uh, are is a better moral decision. So I'm going to do that. And that makes me happy knowing that I'm contributing to a better moral social society. It all leads back to happiness. It, it, no. absolutely, it, all, it all does lead back to happiness. Maybe it's not it's an immediate response and it's not immediate uh, gratification. What it does, though, is it <clears> – <throat> But you could are, a sociopath building, make the same, same – Yes. Right. And what does sure. that have to do with happiness? It makes him happy, so he doesn't. Well, no. no what, 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 it, what it does is you're, you're fostering a, uh, a community that is more well – Like an actual sociopath, <clears throat> not like the fake Sherlock Holmes kind of sociopath, you're, what, what, like you're, an actual sociopath. You're fostering, you're fostering a, a community of well-being and, and more happy yes. people in general by having a, a, a – I don't think you understand I, – I, I think you are projecting who you are onto me. You well, do that all the fucking time. Morality from society <laughs> to society changes. I mean, some societies, sure. it's, you know, certain foods can't eat, and that's a moral. There is no objective morality. Right. And so, in the society we live in, certain things uh, contribute to a better, more wholesome society. And so, we do those things with the hope and expectation that uh, it will, you know, lead to a better and uh, more prosperous society, which makes you happy. You know, just you know, if you lived in a no, no, cannibal society or whatever you would eat people wouldn't want to be a big deal and you would contribute to that and if someone was starving and um, someone died just recently then you know you'd give them you know your, your neighbor or whatever to eat and that would just be the more morality of that society that's an awesome analogy i'm just gonna say <laughs> and, and, it, and it wouldn't be bad for that society it would you know obviously not be good for ours but still you would do that thing that would make you happy because that's the morality of that society 
But does that maximize human well-being? And that society, it does. Mm. Oh, for, for them, it does. For them, no. it does. No, no, no. no. It, that, for them, it does, and according to their moral code, and their according to their moral code and the the culture in which they live, that maximizes the well being of the community. I'm not sure I understand this question in the chat to room. Ustreamer four one six nine nine one asks: Does happiness mean reconciling the world logically or experiencing pleasure? So I think I don't I don't I don't understand that question very well. I, I think I get it. I don't think I, it's both. Yeah. Well, I I. I, I so we're going to put words in your mouth so you should explain your question, you streamer. But I, I think maybe he's trying to say that reconciling the world logically is happiness. I don't well, know. Well, reconciling the world – reconcile – what, what do you say? What's reconciling the, the world logically. logically. Reconciling the world logically can make you happy. Yes. I mean so – and and the same way that – you But know, happiness the, is not – the source or goal of my morality. In fact, but like don't I you said, experience I, as a side effect, though. Not always. Sometimes. Well, it, it like I said, not but that, not but that visceral mean, that does not, acts for acts happiness. But, but that's not potential happiness in the future that comes but from you're building a better you're society. You're claiming that hedonism is the basis well, for morality. Hedonistic ideals, not hedonism. Okay, but and I reject that entirely because well, I'm going to I'm going to say that that's probably on. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's that's where my moral code is derived. Is okay, derived from. I is, believe is, that. Is, is, is I believe that, FUJ. Yeah, I, I'm I'm going to agree with him. I I'm think gonna, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say that that is a human trait. I, so I'm not gonna entirely disagree with you. I'm just gonna say that not all humans do that. However, I would just argue that hedonism as the basis for morality is a shitty way to is a shitty place to yes because your pleasure doesn't care about morality. I mean. You know, for some people, yeah, torturing and raping people makes them happy. That doesn't make it moral. If that's the moral of their society, though, then it kind of. So, that's it's, what I'm saying is that that's you know, not we look morality. at it that it's bad. But, like, say, but I'm saying the morality is a side effect of happiness. No, no, I, I totally disagree with I, I that. Don't, I don't completely follow that. So you know, Jeff Graham in the chat room was was actually saying, you know, does does that mean that? Morality is objective. Yeah, and very much I, so. No. Yeah, but it's very it objective. Is. From society, you know, certain things are bad in other societies than so there are can, in others. I think it can be measured. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. I think it can be measured. I, I think there are measurable am, components to it. Yeah. I am very mathematical. I think it can be measured. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I, there are, but then once you get those measurements, then you have to analyze them but, and say okay, what so is good or bad or what threshold do thing. I want to meet. You have to have a starting point. In the absence of a god – there is no absolute morality, right? So for Jesse. for Jay, yeah. I he, kind of figured after the second question. <laughs> <laughs> um, for Jay, morality begins with what makes me feel good. Um, for me, it's what maximizes human well-being, it, it, which negates entirely happiness. But, but this is a, can't you experience happiness from knowing you contributed to a better society? You can. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't but that's that not also the, that's not the basis of it? But it's and, regardless of what makes you feel good. Right. But so, it does make you feel good because you derive happiness from a better not society. Necessarily. Because because the basis of my morality has nothing to do with how I feel. I do things because they're moral, even if they make me unhappy. Okay, or I try so, to. Because I'm, I'm human just like anyone else. So there are times when I say this is the right thing. But fuck that person. <laughs> so, so what do you make of this? Okay, <laughs> if if my morality is driven via hedonism, mm -hmm. and I feel good <laughs> about making the planet a more sustainable place, so that it is a better place for humanity for generations to come, mm -hmm. do we have the same end goal? In that one instance, yes. However, if you are basing your morality on hedonism, you're going to make poor choices. You're going to make choices like it makes me feel really good to to fuck over this person. It makes me feel really good. To, but it doesn't. It makes me feel really good to send this person back to be executed in their home countries. It makes me feel good to spray paint on this wall. To There are probably people who you are cleaning up after who derive pleasure from – Leaving shotgun shells 12 inches deep in the Probably. sand. 
And so if that is exactly because it's based on hedonism, hedonism is a shitty. But you can derive a good morality from hedonism. No, as well. No, I think no. I I like to think I derive a relatively decent morality from you know my hedonistic viewpoint. I think that I think that um, having I think that becoming happy because of over having good morals might have some evolutionary benefit. And that's but I don't. Fine. But, but I, think that's an, a, I think that's a good side effect. I don't think I don't think that hedonism is a good source of morality at all. No, no, I don't think it is either. No, no. Okay. But I, I think that's what happens all the time for most humans. But that doesn't let's mean de- that's let's, good. let's define hedonism because right? because uh, perhaps perhaps we have different perspectives on the. On the let's look, on let's the actually. Point. I'm just gonna Rubbing give you butter the, on yourself. I actually just <laughs> had the definition. Of <laughs> I've got it right here. <laughs> okay. Hedonism good. is a school of thought that argues that pleasure is the only intrinsic good. In very simple terms, a hedonist strives to maximize net pleasure, and I think that's a shitty way. To maximize morality. No, no, no. I'm not saying that you know this is the best way. I'm saying it. That's I believe that it's the it. way that humans do it, though. I, I, but I think you're making a blanket statement that doesn't yeah, apply. For, that, for example, I it think. does not apply to me. But I think it does. It even, really even, does even, it. even if you don't acknowledge it, I think it does. You are incorrect. <laughs> I, I, well, I guess we'll have to agree to disagree. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence here because I, I get both of your positions. I, I. I think morality is totally subjective in that some people were driven by different I think you're just scared things. to admit it. I, th- I think it scares you that pleasure <laughs> might be what drives no, your no. decision making. And the underlying – I agree wholeheartedly. No. <laughs> I, uh, it really does not because it's a, it's a logical decision. I don't make decisions well, it's about. It's logical to understand happiness and want to drive towards it. That's perfectly logical. But that, but and you, and but perhaps, again, and perhaps again, the emotional side of you the, doesn't quite recognize that the – doesn't want to recognize that the logical decision you're making is going to give you pleasure. But again, if you are looking at moral decisions and you are saying, what decision in this situation is going to maximize my pleasure, you are going to make shitty moral decisions. Sometimes. I do not make decisions based on what is going to maximize my pleasure. And it's not always pleasure right now. It could also be pleasure in the future. I I totally understand that, but that is not what drives my moral decision making. I need an example from you to, to, to better understand what your, your viewpoint perhaps. (laughs) (laughs) He's always a pit of despair. That's why it doesn't, doesn't apply to him. That's I I, I do want an example from you, Christian. I need an example. We've got a call. Hold on. You're on Atheist Airwaves Live. What the hell do you want? Uh, okay, so I just heard the part where you said that uh, things like when you make a moral decision. You don't, do you not have headphones? Oh, you didn't bring yours, did you? Oh, no. no, you don't have any. Yeah. No, not the, I, can can we list, Can we have him no, do, do his call, please? Okay, go ahead. Sorry about okay. that. Uh, so you said you make your moral decision. You are drunk, sir. But go ahead. On, <laughs> You make your moral decision based off of your, not based off how you would feel about what you're doing, mm-hmm. like what, what you what you be doing. Sure. What, what if it involves something, like, something that would be morally good for the well-being of all humans, like humanity, but affected your family, like very badly. That, you do? That's a really good question. Um, I, and I think I would need to know the parameters of that. I think there are – that's a really good question. I, just, just for Reb, what, I think I'm going to try and paraphrase what he's saying here in that if you were faced with a decision that was really bad for your family but good for the greater community mm-hmm. or humanity, which decision would you make? That's a really good a really good question. And um, I, I think that that – I will go ahead and admit that that would be a great area for me, and that I don't, I, I don't think it would be Christian. It, and, no, and, it totally and, would. In knowing have, you and hearing you talk about your family and your kids, uh, you would make the decision for your family. I think not it depends on really bad. Well, no, yeah, really not, bad not, is very broad. Right. So if if we're talking about like missing if, limbs, if, if, if you're going yes, to, I probably would go. If with, you're going to lose the, if you're going to lose the life of one of your children, yes. But in order to absolutely, but in order no to question. do so, but in order Zero. to do so, you're going to save another three thousand. Don't people. care. 
Yes. That's what I'm saying. Is you're, and it's you're not going a rational make, decision. It's a stupid it's monkey not, with shoes decision. Is, is, is it, it, it would a stupid be, decision? And to be honest with well, you, you have a whole year to think about it. It's not like a rash minute decision. It, like, you it, got a whole year to think about. To be honest wanted. with you, uh, so what if I, he was dying anyway? So all I'm saying, is <laughs> it would, um, the details, minute details, would really matter in this situation, because no, they would. What? No, they really. No, would. I don't believe they would. I believe you would make the decision for your family. No, no matter what. I, I I actually disagree with you, uh, because I can envision scenarios in which. Okay. Can you give me an example of what you're talking about, wherein okay. you have made a decision that you disliked making the decision, it you, yet you made it anyway because it was great. It was good sure. for the greater community or humanity or what the fuck. I, I have done things for people who I a was very angry with. And B, um, had made poor decisions that led to them needing help. Helping them caused me more displeasure than pleasure. However, maximizing human well-being calls for you to do things you don't want to do. If you believe that it, as a logical, rational, reason-based philosophy. So how did it maximize human well-being if you had a negative effect and they had a positive effect was their positive effect greater yes. and more important than your negative effect yes because my negative effect is i'm annoyed i'm always fucking annoyed so i mean uh that is uh so it was more of a wounding my pride because i don't i don't want to help this person however i'm in a situation where i can help someone and so i do it so sticking to your moral code and saying mm -hmm that I'm going to help this person because it's the right thing to do. Yes. You you derive no satisfaction from that whatsoever. Not in those situations, no. Let me tell you something That's else. That's so stupid. I can't believe you just said that. You derive no satisfaction from following your own moral code? Uh, in Have you certain, seen Dexter? In certain no. circumstances, <laughs> no. In cer certain circumstances, no. Some, sometimes I do. Like I do a lot of altruistic things because it does make me feel good. But that is not the basis of my morality, which is what we're talking about. I can't about. comprehend a situation wherein you didn't derive any satisfaction well, whatsoever. I think that's the difference from, between you and me, Jay. Well, because I, I really because think this is, a, this is a personal difference between how you operate in this world and how I operate in this world. I don't. I don't need. I don't need personal satisfaction to do something good for someone else. But if it's going to cause me detriment, versus just going, oh, well, fuck. Whatever. I know. You don't give a shit. <laughs> right? Well, it doesn't derive enough happiness from that decision right. to do it. To do it. Right. right. And I, I think, I That's think why what Red is saying is absolutely correct. Is I that take you, do, you, you do derive satisfaction no. because the satisfaction you're you've deriving never, is the greater good that's happening. You've helped people, but you've helped people before, before even though you haven't derived pleasure from it, right? I've helped people before. Yeah, absolutely. In, well, okay. In the, well, well, in right, the, <laughs> I've helped because I, I, didn't, I didn't get any positive gain monetarily or worldly or whatever but the positive gain i get is saying hey you know what that's the right fucking thing to do and they needed it i gained pleasure through that and that's what i'm See, saying is uh, the I pleasure wanna... was going hey you know what that's the right thing to do and i'm not going to be a dick i'm going to go help this fucking guy so but you call that you're deriving pleasure you're deriving satisfaction through that i disagree so let, let me bring this in you streamer four one six nine nine one says following your moral code is not situational, uh, which I think is an interesting point, and I think he's correct in that if you are coldly dispassionately logical, like I'm mostly advocating, that should be true. That there should be no situation in which you are uh, compromising your moral positions because of a situation. However, realistically, we are human beings and imperfect and incapable of being of making perfect decisions all the time. Uh, I think it still deriving your decision from a, a pleasure based mechanic can also be one made from a logical standpoint as well. You can gauge, Oh, if I do that, well, that means I'm not going to have a job tomorrow. So ooh, I'd rather not do that. But if I do this instead of means I'll have a job, I mean, that guy won't have a job, but mm, I'd rather do that. It's part of your, that way in the future I could help other people with the money I might make to go and give to other people. I mean, you can, I think you can make a definitive, you know, number value, you sure. know, morality decision I, on it from a pleasure-based system. Humans don't do that. 
Oh. Humans, humans make shitty decisions. Oh yeah, yeah, they do. Most definitely. Yeah, sometimes they do bad math. Yeah. Or, or they, okay. they look at the math, they've done the correct math, and they do it the, the same way. And like I said, you throw my family into it, and in certain circumstances, like I said, there are circumstances in which I would do things that would harm my family, um, uh, because I think it's the right thing to do. I have done things that have harmed, okay. that have potentially caused harm to my family. Because I think it's the right thing to do. Let me let me give you another example that is not so much a positive happiness derived thing, d- d- derived thing. It's more of a how bad is this going to work? How bad is this going to be for me? It's a it, it's a negative effect, and how bad that negative effect is. What's if I can if I if I came to you tomorrow and said, Christian, I really need a thousand dollars, but that thousand dollars is going to cause you to uh, not be able to make your mortgage and it's going to yep. put you in financial stress for the next three months. Yep. Okay. But you know that it's going to cause good in whatever, in whatever fashion. <laughs> Courtney has <laughs> rage quit the show. <laughs> Mic well, drop. So where do you, where do you, how do you make that decision so logically? I've, ma- I've made that decision. How do you make that decision logically? I, tell tell, tell you, me your decision making process. You look at what maximizes human well being. So is giving Jay a thousand dollars going to be probably not probably not <laughs> is giving Jay a thousand dollars so he can get his dick burns taken care of going to be uh, <laughs> going to, to be more important than being secure in my finances for three months uh, I love you bro so I'd probably give it to you I don't think you would no, that, that's, no I've that's done I've done I've done, I've done that I I've straight okay. up done okay that. so what is, what is your what is your decision-making process there? My dis- well, how do you weigh that out? Um, it, okay, so let, let me talk specifically about the situation in, that I'm thinking about in which I did exactly that. The first thing is, what is the situation this person is in? How do I feel this person is going to react to this? Because basically what I told this person is, I can give you this money, but in however many months this is going to fuck my world up. And if if you can't get it back to me in that time, I am in huge trouble. And to be honest, the person I did this with who absolutely came through for me, I was not certain would do that. I was not a hundred percent certain that this was the kind of person who would be able to follow through on their commitment. Um, But I, the situation that they were in was one in which I understood was not of their own making and that I was in a position where I could help them. And I was also in a position where I would have to trust them um, that they could do it. And that's how I evaluate. So let me it. change the situation that you're talking about just a little okay. bit. Can there be a blood? You know, you're not going, you know, you're not going to get it back and there's yep. no condition on which the either party expects that the, it's going to be recompensated. Uh-huh. And um, you know, for fact that it's going to cause you detriment. Sure. And it's going to cause it's it's going to get offer them well being, but okay. but again, it's about maximizing human so well being. So it's about balancing. It's you have about to weigh that out. It's about balancing their gain and my loss. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, in some circumstances, it's uh, the the situation will be I am willing to uh, uh, give this money to my own detriment. And in some situations, it's going to be this situation does okay. not warrant that. So now let's ask that person put themselves in that situation, and it was of their own doing okay. that that put them in that bad place, and they were pretty sure it was going to happen anyway. But they could find someone that could help them because they knew you would help them. Yeah. Again, it it would be really really specific because people make bad choices. And I have made bad choices, <clears throat> and I have been grateful when people have been able to help me out of my bad choices. And again, I, I need to understand why or or how the the decision making process based on those details mm-hmm. works. That's what I'm saying. It's about you have to balance it. You have to you have to. Re, I mean, you. It's what impossible. What do you consider? It's impossible to. Um, what do you What do you consider do, in to, that situation? It's impossible to take a hypothetical situation and do the math. But I mean, you take into account the person, what you know of the person, what. Uh, they've done in the past what what the specifics of the situation are, how deeply you'll be impacted versus how deeply they will be helped. So pleasure and pain on a scale of, well, of absolutes is not something – pain is a measure of pleasure. 
Pleasure is certainly a component of human well-being. Pain is a measure of pleasure. Or is it... What? Well, here, let, let me let me take a, a few step backs. Um, when you're talking about putting yourself in another person's shoes, mm-hmm. whether they, you know, how they'd be impacted, um, I was reading. It was kind of interesting. It was a little study they were doing, but it showed that the pleasure centers in a person's brain were activated whenever they went and put themselves in another person's shoes. Yep. Said like, oh, if I do this for this person, empathy. You're right. And so, isn't that empathy? also part of the pleasure mechanic you're doing whenever you say, oh, this will help the person or it won't help the person no, because and it makes me say, feel good or bad about it or not. Right, right. But the, we're, I mean, this is what I was going to say is that those same things happen when you think about setting someone on fire. No, um, yeah, exactly. Like, so I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a perfect system. I'm it's, saying it's a system it's people far, use and it works from it. okay no, for I have, you. No, this is what I'm saying. I, when Jay tells me that he bases his morality on hedonism, I take him at his word. When I say that I do not, I wish you would return the favor. That's all I'm saying. I, no, no, no. But, but what? Think, I don't think it's a human possibility. I don't think it's a human. What, what I'm trying to convince you of is that you are. You know, I, I, I can. I can. You're not. Good. That's. I, I get that you. You get that. I'm just trying to explain why I think you actually do. And I disagree. And, well, and you disagree. You know, you can that's, disagree all, you know, that's what it comes down to. But you can disagree all day long. <laughs> but I firmly believe that the psychological motives are the same. And they are derived from pleasure versus pain, which is uh, a measure of uh, – I don't know what the, 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 the word for both ends of the scale would be. But they're on the same spectrum. They're on the same scale. Pleasure. 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 Pa- that's, pain that's, is a negative and, and pleasure is a positive. And they, they, they're a matter of the same exact concept. And those are, are not the inputs I'm using. Joshua but B. I, I'm going to say that they are. You just won't admit it. And you can't no, admit it. I, I'm, just, I'm going to counter by saying – you can't imagine someone not doing things the way you do them. Believe me, I do. No, I, I think you do a good job with it. You know, I think I do a good job with it. I think you do a good job with the pleasure mechanic as well. I think probably most people do a pretty good job with it. And I reject that. You, I reject what you're saying. Just would be in the chat room says uh, that he would help someone he knows before helping someone he does not. If put in a position to help one or the other, not specifically if it makes me feel better or not, but I, I um. But I think that is a position. I, I think that is a hedonistic act, which is, you know, it, it's a rejection of morality and an embrace of it makes more sense to me to help someone I know because I get something out of that. Um, again, I wouldn't make that call. I, knowing someone, the only impact that that would have on my moral decision making is I would be more familiar with. Well, you could you could also know the person and say like eh, that guy's kind of shitty. I'll help the person I don't know because yeah. at, the, at you know sure. statistically they're probably but better than that person. Jo- and Josh is saying he wouldn't do that, but I'm just saying that I totally do it. <laughs> I, w- I would look at the person and be like, eh, "That guy's a fucker. Fuck him. I'll help the other random stranger." I'm, the only thing that that would impact for me is that I would have more information about the person I know. Whether to help them or not would be an easier decision to make. Uh, it would be harder to de- a harder decision because you just don't have the data to help someone you don't know. You don't know how who they are, how they got there, what the impact is. You've Why got are you some thinking? hard typing going on over there. I was <laughs> <laughs> a huge dinosaur of a laptop. <laughs> it's intense. From, from what year so is that? Jesse in the chat room says that his position in this conversation is using Christian's cold logical morality in that sense. Morality is situational or rather specific to a person, but following that moral code is not. I'm not sure I understand that. I think it's he's saying it's like a, it, you, you can't be expected to, from your day to day life decisions, make moral decisions based on a cold logical math based moral guideline. You do it on a pleasure based guideline. And that's. Incorrect. I, no, I, really I think I, I think I really, you would like to strive for a more math-based one, but I, I think, think you think live you by the pleasure. Realize that you pleasure actually line. are doing it. I think you'd like to think that you're making pleasure-based decisions <laughs> when you're actually plotting points in your head. And you well, don't no, I, I don't think you know. I'm it. doing it like consciously, like oh yes, this will make by me more knowing, happy. By yeah. knowing the person you're helping, you are you are able to place dots on: is this person trustworthy? Is this person whatever? And you're making these data connections that you can't make with someone that you don't know. Okay, so yeah. do you feel that when I say I'm, I, I, my decisions are based in hedonism, that 
I'm making decisions that are illogical and based solely on emotion. I'm saying that you will come to more immoral decisions if you base your morality on hedonism than if you base it on reason. So uh, let me let me ask the question again. Do you feel that my my moral derived decisions mm -hmm. are based on emotion more than logic? Yes. You're wrong. Well, then your logic is really Bam. shitty. <laughs> I can I can make I can have the exact same logical decision making capability and use it, which I do in every cir sure. circumstance, just about. And uh, the, the the logic that I use leads me to make decisions based on the pleasure scale. Um, so I let me back off my comment for just a second because I think you can approach. Um, uh, I think you can approach hedonistic morality from a logical perspective. You can maximize your pleasure by using logic. Someone so that's, that's like exactly what I'm saying. Right. So you, you can still use you know right. numbers do it to to figure out what you want to do. But it would where you're plotting those numbers is again, on a even happy if, to sad scale. Even <laughs> if I'm not conceding this point to you, but even if I were to concede the point that morality is based. Uh, that morality is controlled by pleasure. Um, basing your morality in hedonism is much different than having hedonism affect your morality, which I think is is what I, I would agree is to some extent uh, unavoidable. I, I think because, again, like I said earlier, people are imperfect. Um, if you put me in a situation, you put me in the right hypothetical situation where there's harm to my family that is not as great as harm to other people, and yes, I will make a poor decision based on my inability to confront harm to my children. It's actually really good. That's, I hadn't considered that, where uh, basing it and then influencing it. That's actually yeah. a really good point. Thank you. I think that's a good point uh, to end this on. Let's all have a kumbaya moment. Do not, don't, and just. <laughs> I was going to agree and say yes. that I think we're all saying the same thing in in, in a roundabout way. <laughs> Skype atheist airwaves. What number, guys? Uh, atheist airwaves, all one word on Skype. We don't have the phone line set up. So if you'd like to call in, you have exactly 30 seconds to do it. You better <laughs> well, well, remember, it's on a lag, okay. so it's like, got like a minute. I know, or... but like also I'm talking to another uh, uh, cam <laughs> girl. Uh, <laughs> sorry to bother. Got a minute? Yes. How are you? Thanks for accepting me. I was wondering if you could help me with something, please. I would love to help you, girl. <laughs> Stop <laughs> auto-correcting me. <laughs> And maybe it's a dude, and maybe I should just, I don't know. It's Carrie, K-E-R-R-Y. I know guys named Carrie. I have a coworker named Carrie. There you go. So, and, uh, and he's a dude as well. He's not guy. downloading Skype. He, oh, okay. You suck. Okay. Uh, I think that's the end of our... I, I, I think I'm we going, start... I'm going to revisit this, not during the show necessarily, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to try and find... <laughs> I'm going to You're try such and find an idiot, a, a, Jesse. a scientific <laughs> standpoint <laughs> that explains. Thank okay. you, Christian. I was going to say that. <laughs> I say it so you don't have to. It's all about maximizing human well-being. You know, so I got this. I said it so you didn't have to. So you can go home and have like a nice evening. And it affects me not at all. <laughs> and that gives me pleasure. <laughs> all right. See you guys next week. That was a good point. I thought of that. I yeah, I totally forgot I had these. Uh, <laughs> Otherwise, I would have pulled them out a long time ago. Which I think I have some in my gym bag now.